Um, you know, Tan, you're now our most... I was going to say most common visitor. I don't mean that. <laughs> but the <laughs> visitor that right. has appeared I the mean... most now. <laughs> Let's get a round of applause for Tan Pratt and Alexa Chung. Oh, nothing for myself. Oh, I know, I know. I love clapping for myself. Guys, I am actually so pressed about this interview because we've only got 10 minutes, but yeah. I love this show so Yay. much. Yeah, it. it's really good. Yay. I've seen the first four episodes oh, and good. it's amazing. Oh. So let's begin by just giving, if you could give us a quick lowdown yeah. on the show and what it's about. I just want to double check before we do go ahead. Are you just being like a nice radio presenter or you yeah. actually no. really did love it? No, I've okay, literally great. got so many questions oh, for you. Yeah, I've really, okay, I've really got waste. loads. Let's not make Okay, you go. Okay, it's a fashion competition show uh, with truly uh, very talented designers. They're paired together mm -hmm. and asked to create um, different things based on a theme each week and then through a process of elimination there will be one winner who wins $250,000 to start their it's own a big, company it's with. a big amount of money. A lot of money, a lot of big whack of cash yeah. and uh, the opportunity to sell their designs on a fashion website. Yeah, it's a bit like Bake Off meets Fashion Week. Yeah, that's kind of exactly. That's, that's kind of I'm thinking much better it. Better way of saying it. You, you can take it. <laughs> just take that. Use that everywhere. I'm now. taking. I'm having yeah. it. I think what I wasn't prepared for was just like how seriously good the designers are. I oh, mean, yeah. I'm not exactly some sort of fashion maven, uh -huh. but like these designers are shit hot, and yeah. there's like. Yeah. Um, they put their blood, sweat, literal blood, yeah. sweat into, yeah. 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 into the designs. Yes. There's That's, a few pints uh, in one of the garments. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Alexa and I wanted to do this show. It's because we were working with actual designers, people who have a great reputation in the industry, people who've been doing this for years. They are seasoned designers. So we knew we were going to see some incredible yeah. movies. And we do, like, wait till you get to the finale. You, th at that point, you start to see, okay, this is somebody who's worked in this industry, industry for quite some time, mm. who knows how to craft an incredible collection yeah. that will actually be the future of fashion. I think it's the right way around. It's like they source talent that were already reputable. So it's yeah. kind of yeah. TV following design rather than uh, Let's you create know, a TV designer. show uh -huh. and then we'll just yeah, can you so. The designers are from all over the world as well. Yeah. So like, yeah. where did you find them? Uh, Alexa rocks. went on. <laughs> we gave her a round trip ticket. Well, I had a, which, it, was a, yeah. it was a it was a tough. Few and we flights. only gave mm. you a, a carry on luggage, which was weird. No, um, was so, so she so looked terrible cold. for a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, we, so we didn't do any of the casting. It was all done by Old School TV, our production company. Mm -hmm. um, and th th there were so many reasons for making it global. But one of the main reasons is Netflix is a global platform. Yeah. We wanted a show that unites us and hopefully has a whole, whole world watching. And I think that that's what this show does. Totally, there's that. And also, from my experience, at least in my office, I have a fashion line, but um, it's an international room. So I think mm. it's, a, it's a fair representation of what actually happens in the fashion industry, yeah. whether you're designing in New York, London, Paris, Milan, Tokyo, blah, blah, blah. There's I, people from all walks of yeah. life. And what's really important is that um, you, you almost did what you were meant to do and said that um, you have a fashion line, it's called Alexa Chung. Uh, Thank Alexa you, Chung Tan. Super, uh, it's called Alexa Chung Instagram on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry. I yeah. nearly got yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, oh, they're, yeah, um, they're in pairs, but, and yes. some have known each other for a while. Yeah. yeah. Others haven't. Yeah. What's the deal with that? Because I wasn't... I, that's I the one bit I didn't really understand. Well, I don't know if it, there's much to understand there. Like, uh, it was a bit confusing. But I, <laughs> I, think, I think there are people that... You know, the idea was always to couple designers together in order to emulate the or like synthesize the situation in real life, which is often in a creative environment, whether that's making a radio show or designing mm. clothes, you're put with someone else who's also creative and you have to collaborate with yes. them whether you like yeah. it or not. Um, <laughs> and that's where the magic can or can't happen. Mm -hmm. But it just so happened that some people already knew one another and others didn't. So they were either paired up But that or... didn't necessarily... Uh, oh, you'd think that it just because they knew each other, they're probably going to succeed. That's no, a, no, absolutely not no, that the is case. true. Yeah. yeah. And you try on multiple of their creations during the show, yeah. which must have been oh. so fun. Did you keep any or buy any or what We're happens to, to them? The, well, so after the show, the winner's collection gets produced and then we can buy it. So right. we, we've both already earmarked bits yes. from that, that we're going to wear oh, in New York. Yeah. But, um, but I think that that's what's so impressive is that we truly wanted to wear so much of what yeah. we were seeing on the mm. runway. I think that's the mark of a good design show. If we didn't yeah. want to wear that stuff, 
there's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. And there's some great personalities too. Yeah. Um, Angelo. Oh, oh my God, God, I love him. Angelo, there's a quote in the first episode where he's like, to be Italian in the fashion industry is to be like, wow. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, he's yeah, so yeah. flamboyant. Like, oh, wow. yeah. It's but amazing. He's, so, he's flamboyant, but he's very gentle oh, yes. and sweet. And I think watching it, I realised that we only got to interact with them when we went over to yeah. check in with them. But seeing kind of... You know, I fell in love with him all I over again. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes across so well. Was it hard to persuade some of them to go on the show? Because obviously they've got already got professional representa- um, reputations. Yeah. So yeah. there's a lot at stake. Th- or does the two hundred and fifty thousand dollars just? I think it's two fifty thousand dollars. But yeah. also, um, you know, Netflix has a certain cachet as well. So it wasn't. Mm. I, to me, and this is the appeal of the show to me as well. It's 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 cool. It's modern, and it's kind of. I knew it would be a fresh take on something. Yeah. Um, so I don't think it. I think they understood the how lucrative it could be if they were yeah. to win this competition. Not just the money, but also the exposure. The because platform. one of the yeah. hardest things to do if you're a young designer is get eyeballs on your work. You can be as good as you want, but mm. if no one's there. To see it, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. So, Marketing costs a fortune, whereas right. on the show, yes, you potentially could risk coming across not as great as you might think you are, but if you do uh, if you do believe that you are a wonderful designer and you really can do it, you could create an incredible reputation for yeah. yourself. It really, it, I don't think people truly understand the scope of Netflix. You can you can be next to, uh, you can have next to no reputation and within a heartbeat, you can be globally known. That's mm-hmm invaluable for a brand yeah and the show sticks firmly to like design but that there is a little bit of drama on the show yeah particularly episode four now what i want to know is what happens when, when you guys watch the show you'll understand what i'm talking about but it's a very dramatic moment there's a disagreement between the judges yeah. what happened off camera but i'm like dying we to know about it i mean yeah? we really couldn't come to funny because in all of the other episodes that preceded that one it had been fairly obvious who between us we wanted to pick to leave that week because yeah. but obviously the closer it got to narrowing it down towards the finale the harder it was because the competition was just so stiff yeah. and he had really strong opinions I had strong opinions Jason did and, and yeah, Tan so like we all kind of no, it, what happened off screen was just a conversation. Oh. Uh, there's not a lot of drama behind the scenes with us. I was expecting like a fist fight. No, we, I mean, the tension was there. We, we, yeah, it was. <laughs> but it I'm was, going like this. Like <laughs> it's a volcano that's about to blow. Like, like, it doesn't do confrontation <laughs> at all. I'm so yes. Yeah. That's why even like Tan goes out. I'm backstage yeah. like I can't talk to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She <laughs> doesn't do too that. Much. But it was. It was just a conversation. Of, uh, this this really matters. Like mm. it, we can't just fake a decision. Like oh well, go on then. If you think this person's right, we we all really want to champion the success of the best designer. Yeah. And so there, there's no drama for the sake of drama. We don't produce drama on the show. You'll notice that yeah. throughout the se- the season. The, it's not like a reality show um, but the drama comes from who really could be a design yeah. that we would want to wear yeah. during that discussion there was a really interesting conversation going on between like uh, the relationship between streetwear and high fashion houses yeah. and yeah. like who decides what's popular yeah. and stuff yeah. watching back what were your thoughts on that discussion um, I still agreed with a lot of what they were saying. I did at the time. That is true that a lot of major designers do take inspiration from what they see on the street and what smaller brands are doing. They just the smaller brands don't get have the recognition that these larger brands do, so the larger brands can take advantage. However, with this challenge in particular, um, uh, uh, for me personally, I I I struggled to make a decision because we were torn on what our own definitions of streetwear were for that episode every one of us Alexa doesn't uh, love streetwear she doesn't I wear wasn't a lot even, of streetwear yeah, I wasn't even judging it within the realms of how yeah. thematic it was per se I was just like I think there were better designers yeah. mm. in that particular challenge and yeah. to me, me that too. Their designs weren't as good as the yeah. other ones. It was as simple as but that. But as far yeah. as they were concerned, theirs this tied into the brief more than others. So it was a very difficult one because uh, we all have our own idea of what is great streetwear. Yeah. And um, I know on Queer Eye that you got to choose your own clothes and they'd actually yeah. initially tried to get you a stylist and everything. Mm. With your own clothes on the show this time, was there a stylist? Did you pick your own pieces? What was the, what's I, the tea? Yeah, I had a stylist because I think I was cast to be in this role kind of 
about two weeks before we started filming. Really? Two weeks? And there's ten episodes, God. two outfits per episode. But anyway, not to justify it. But yeah, so I used an amazing... <laughs> you Danielle. might need one. <laughs> you might need <laughs> someone to help. Me. Yeah, and... Um, she was fantastic. She was fantastic, but I also wore a lot of my own brand because... Wow. Wink, wink, it was a great... Oh, <laughs> you get that coin. Yeah. So, yeah, going yeah. back to your earlier point, it's great marketing, it's a global show. So yeah, um, I wore a lot of AC. I had a stylist who I love very much, her name's Soyan. However, I'm very particular about what I want to wear and what I definitely won't wear. Yeah. Uh, and so I would just say, I want this. Can you go ask the brand if I could have that? Ah, okay. That's, that sounds good. It's really, it's a luxury though. Isn't yeah, it? I mean, it's an amazing job. Yeah. Like, yeah, am I all these clothes for them? <laughs> right. Um, all right, so... Do they get, do they get free clothes for this? No, honey. Are you not? <laughs> Please. Are you not on camera? For... Yeah. yeah, you know what? You should have a budget. budget. You know what? Someone's I'm going to get like one. Someone's like not doing their job. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I know complaint. my manager's watching on a screen yeah. downstairs. I'm going to be like, right, get me that budget. <laughs> um, right, season two, obviously, <laughs> it hasn't come out yet, so we don't know. I feel like if we you don't... talk about it enough, it will make you know, yeah, like, like, I like that you alone is going to get us another season. <laughs> he said it's not come out yet as if we've shot another season. No, no, yeah, no, no. Tell us But more. what I want to know is, you know, right, so you have all these challenges, so... And they have to design different things each week. Yeah. So in season two, what would you like to see that Garters. you didn't? We, we, Garters. There, were, Garters. there were so many more things that we wanted to see. As yeah, well. but loads. It's, it's hard because there was only two episodes. <laughs> Ten, Ten and one of them was a finale. <laughs> Ten episodes, great. Um, but fashion, I mean, it, there's just so much. It's all encompassing. So yeah. there's so many different angles you, you could yeah, go yeah, by. Yeah. But I think with this one, we were talking about building a global brand and the idea that that you might have different areas like underwear you might be doing sportswear you might be doing whatever. but they're so universal like actually we could like really yeah. and do like a kilt yeah I'm Sorry. down for the kilts it's kilts, <laughs> it's kilts bitch it's kilts time it's time um, for cultural appropriation <laughs> <laughs> okay. has got for two. Um, <laughs> you know what we need to do is remember to hydrate today because I, I didn't know. do enough of that thing. I was so your pee was brown <laughs> I looked at me for a second. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cardboard.